Welcome to the BFME 1 online battle arena. This time on the map, Forts of Brunin 2, we are against Rohan. And we'll get to play with the Mordor faction. We are the true servants of Sauron, ladies and gentlemen. And the time of the Rohirrim will be over after this game. And the age of the Orc has already come. Our opponent just doesn't know about it. Smeagol captured the settlements and... Let's have a great start into this game. Be careful. And the Knights of Helion, by the way, he's asking me if I'm ready to lose. Always, my friends. Always. Okay, so he knows me. He knows that I'm from Germany. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we can use one of the workers to scout also from the bottom side. Um, scouting will increase your overall reaction time. So you will be able to react to your opponent before it's too late, you know. So you have time to build up some defense before he will reach out to you. So we were able to find one of the peasants, but that's totally fine. Uh, sending the peasants one by one is not going to be super effective for him. In this matchup, you want to be going as a squad, you know, like two, two battalions of peasants, maybe even three, and then a hobbit too. So you can do much more work, you know, like like mentioned before, sending them one by one. I don't like it. I don't think it's good. And Smeagol will be able to catch up to the peasants. So we are in a good spot. We will keep the enemy away from our settlements. That's the main objective at the beginning of the game. Because Mordor's early game is weaker than Rohan's. Rohan is the strongest. It, uh, the early stage of the game but he's not making a great use out of it you know what i mean and we can even creep now so like that's gonna be a very great start for us smeagol i don't like that smeagol killed killed his cousin over a ring bro what the heck i felt so bad for this guy by the way guys um did you watch the rings of power this season two I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't enjoy the first season that much, but the second season, I don't know, man, I liked it actually, you know, it was good. Come on, can I click, please? No economical de damage dealt? Oh my god, he stole my money. I hate you. I hate you! Shut up, bro, he's saying thanks, man. You are not welcome, bro. You are not <laughs> welcome. Something is happening with my Eye of Sauron. The red box in between there. I don't like it. We spotted the enemy. We can creep also this one with the help of the Golem. I'm so broke. I needed that cash uh, instantly, you know, desperately. That's what he's trying to tell to me. He's making fun of me, boys. I don't I don't like it. I don't like when my opponents are making fun of me, bro. I didn't pay attention. If I would have paid attention... No. Okay, let's go for outpost control. On the map Forts of Brunin 2, there are two outposts. Um, we can capture them. We will get the money, no problemo. And creeping, creeping, creeping. That's the way to go. When you play evil faction, listen to me. When you play evil faction like Aizen or Mordor, you want to have um, the industry power spike as soon as possible. And creeping is going to be super helpful to reach that milestone of yours in a way faster and easier way, right? So you getting industry will get you to the mid-game spike you desire way quicker. It's a massive power spike for the evil factions. And that's why creeping is so rewarding. Oh my god, there's a Marriott of Brandybuck. You will pay for this. I won't let you live, bro. Nice. Ooh, getting more power points even. That's beautiful. Creeping a lot. I think we crapped the entire side of ours. Yeah, the Hobbit from him was able to steal the money, but that's totally fine. He got the last on the creep, that's what matters, you know. 
We have a good start. We didn't lose our settlements yet. We have no money problems whatsoever. We should be miles ahead of our opponent in terms of economical advantage. And now we will get the outpost once we have enough money. Let's grab the treasure and get the outpost. Oh, we need to creep this. Back, 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 back. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's capture the outpost and we can build even one more orc pit at the outpost just to pressure a little bit more. That's the goal. Take this, take that. Oh, he was creeping that one actually. But that's okay. Um, in the version we are playing right now, Mordor got a couple of changes. Um, one of the major changes done to Mordor was that trolls can upgrade themselves to the attack trolls. Right? You need to pay a lot of resources for that. But if you do, your mountain troll is going to turn into the level 2 attack troll, which will make it tankier and stronger. Right? And that's a needed change to Mordor, because in the matchups against Rohan, if you have only level 1 trolls, Rohan can go for Eoma, Eowyn combination, and the doubles, oh my god, the double spear from the siblings will one-shot your troll. And now you, need, you can actually play a bit more aggressively with your troll, because a level 2 troll is just much more durable. But it's super expensive, so you need to make like a choice. Going for another troll is going to be cheaper, just because the upgrade to the level 2 troll is uh, much, much stronger. Okay, we are losing map control, but that's going to be changed very soon. He has no way of dealing with my rune soldiers. Um, Rohan is also a faction that needs a lot of money to get to the spike they are looking for. Because you need archer range, three yeoman archers, fire arrow, armory, heavy armor, banner, forge blades, Theodin, Eoma, Eowyn, Aragorn later on. So there is a lot of stuff you need to do to reach the, you know, the lead game spike of Rohan, which is extremely powerful, if not the most powerful lead game potential for the map control at least. The Srohirim are annoying. Who now has the strength to fight against the forces of Mordor and beyond standards? <laughs> I, we could go for the Witch King, but I like to go for Trolls. Just to show you guys the new change we have added to the Trolls. Mordor is a weird faction, though. Like, I like Mordor because of its uniqueness. It's the most unique faction by far, by the way. Like, no other faction, Rohan, Isengard, or Gondor, comes anywhere close to the uniqueness of Mordor. Mordor is just one of a kind, you know what I'm saying? No armory, uh, monsters all over the place, Mumma kills, trolls, drummer trolls. Heroes can be revived for free, they can fly. I don't know, like... Everything about it is so unique. Okay, it's time for some mountain troll. But later on we will turn him... There is a gimme by the way, so later on we will turn him into the attack troll. So Gimli is annoying for Mordor, for sure. Um, the reason why is because Gimli is faster than the rune soldiers, so he has the chance to catch up to you, right? Gimli is good against runes, not that bad against trolls, but definitely not, not, not good against Nazgûl or Witch King. Uh, so overall, Legolas would have been doing a better job because Legolas is much more threatening when it comes to deal with uh, Witch King and Nazgûl later on. Careful, I'm gonna upgrade it. Watch this, 880 for the for the upgrade. So it's a bit more expensive than the troll itself. Troll can cost only 840, right? So you need to pay like double the price basically. Because the unit is also twice as strong, right? What, level 2 drummer uh, tr troll is just much, much stronger, miles ahead of the level 1 mountain troll. Oh my god, he's committing now to the elves. So we need to kind of bring the fight back a little bit so my Haradrims can shoot. But here's the. Um, 
is the horseman shields so my units won't deal too much damage to the hidden warriors i'm trying to bring them in a choke point now i can commit maybe but there is a gimli who has the leap attack he's gonna be annoying potentially attack trolls stupid trolls you're level two already attack bro need to go for the troll kitsch here i have so many orcs all over the place but taking all the map down i mean i will lose this outpost kill some rohirrim go 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 Punch you! Watch, watch this punch! A punch! Oh, level four! Punch! <laughs> this is the Hulk of Middle Earth. We have elves and Rohirrim. We got a Hulk, and we got a Hulk. Oh my God! The extra health dealt hella damage to my troll. Holy! I mean, for the defense of the troll, he has no leadership, right? He has no armor leadership, which is super essential for the mountain trolls or attack trolls in this case. So later on we will have Witch King in Darkness and Drummer, so it's gonna be a whole different story. Gimli, even though he seems unbeatable as for now, but he's gonna be a piece of paper later on, once we are ready to deal with him. So we have 6.5k, very soon there is gonna be a Witch King. And you know what Witch King likes to say, you know? No man can kill me. No man can kill me. Let's be annoying on this Gimli, attack him over and over again. Remember, the orcs cost us nothing, and we have almost the entire map anyway. But Gimli is popping up a little bit, jumping on my orcs. But I have more orcs to, uh, you know, sacrifice. I don't care about it. He has zero farms outside, he's broke. I can't tell you that much. I swear it was 880 before, now it's 980. Why is that? I know why it is. You know why it is? Because we had more furnaces. The more furnaces you have, the cheaper the upgrade is gonna become. Oh my, I forgot about it totally. I was like, okay, I peed before 880, now I need to pee 990. What's, ha what's happening? Because of the steel bonus we are missing, is we lost the two furnaces at the outpost. You know what I'm saying? Okay, only two more power points required for the, for the darkness. Again, a massive power spike for the Mordor faction. If already the first power, uh, power spike, it's the Witch King. Need to make sure that the Troll Kitch is gonna hit level 2. Boom! Punch you on the face. Do not touch my tralala. -la. My ding ding dong. <laughs> I mean, this Gimli is annoying, but it's but we are kind of keeping him checked, you know? He's kind of doomed to protect his outpost against orcs All right, be ready. beautiful Okay, so we are almost ready, boys. All we need to do is wait for the drummer troll, and then we can go. And that's gonna be the spike we are looking for, right? Get the troll kitchen level 2, get one. I like to get always two drummer trolls, and then we should be ready to go. Because by the time we have the, all of this, what I just mentioned, we will have also darkness from the spellbook of Mordor. And then we can... Like, if, basically, you need to understand that every single troll we have is going to be level 2 because of the mountain troll, uh, attack troll upgrade. Another orc horde. Hold on a second, we need to protect this outpost no matter what though. We need to protect until the drum is going to arrive, that's super important. There is a Gimli and we have no leadership yet, we need to... Come with the Witch King as soon as possible to this location. I, I don't want to lose my Troll Kish level 2, bro. Before the Drama Troll comes on the field. I don't want to lose it. Go, 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 go. Die if you want to, but don't lose the Troll Cage. Punch, 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 punch. Go for the melee units and the Witch King is going to go for the, for the range units. Okay, we need to be careful. I have Sauron. Boom. Gimli die already. Gimli die. He's so low. Attack him. Bro, defeat! Ah, 
I mean, he was Speedy Gonzalez. He was outrunning my trolls, by the way. <laughs> because of this Slayer. But you see, the orcs, you would like to say they are useless, but they are definitely not. We are legit taking the entire map under our control by using orcs all alone. If he comes again, um, I think the Slayer is going to be on cooldown, but now we have Drummer Troll too, and almost, all oh, he's coming, okay. I mean, you are dead, bro. You have no chance. Uh, go. Servants of Morgoth. And now what? And now what? And now what, bro? And now what? <laughs> Look, can you imagine how poor this person is? He has legit no money. He doesn't have even banner or heavy armor on his horses, bro. Like, that's legit how, how poor he is, man. Poor guy, he just went for fire arrows. Oh, I'm so feeling so bad for him. <laughs> I'm feeling so bad for him. <laughs> In the meantime, we have Witch King. Multiple trolls upgraded them. One of them is being even level 5, you know? Oh, Eowyn. Guys, watch, 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 watch. Guys, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a trick. Watch this. Please watch this. I am no man, huh? I am no man, huh? Watch this. Fly in circles. Fly in circles. Eowyn. Boom, boom. <laughs> Sit down. Shield Maiden of Rohan. And Starkiller has been sent to the stars. Nazgul in his prey. We're under attack. You don't touch my Witch King today, Shield Maiden. I love this game, bro. I love this game. It's so fun when you win. And the Vi Void Tito behind Truck Hitten. He wanted to just to hit like a truck, but yet, he, yet again, he got hidden like a truck. The last stand of man. Where is the horse and the rider? That's what Theodium would like to see here. Where is Mifrandia? In the first light of the fifth day. Look to the east. We are looking to the east, but there is no light. There is no light, bro. Theodium is dead. Just like in the films. Just like in the films. Unlike in the films, it wasn't the Witch King who killed him. It was one of our um, attack trolls. You know what I'm saying? GG. Well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. How we rolling over our opponents with the forces of evil. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially the, you know, the true servants of Morgoth.